a minus b3, a minus b2 is equal to a square minus b square formula you have to use. A. This goes in form of a. Root b. Root b. This is in the form of root this. Therefore, 7 minus 6. Which is equal to root 7 plus root 6 by 1. Which is also equal to root 7 plus root 6. This is your answer. Okay, children. Next. I would like to move to another problem that is 1 by root 5 plus 1 by root 2. 1 by root 5 plus 1 by root 2. See. Solution for this that is 1 by root 5 plus root 2 into here, denominators you have to rationalize. The rational form of denominator is root 5 minus of root 2 divided by root 5 minus of root 2. Okay? Here also, see, multiply root 5 minus of root 2. Here, see, it is A, it is B. A plus B into A minus B. Here also, I will use a plus b into a minus b then equal to a square minus b square. Okay. Therefore, root 5 minus root 2. Here is 5 minus of 2, which is equal to root 5 minus root 2 divided by 5 minus 2, 3. Okay, children. So, hope you all understand. My love this. Root 7 minus 
2 into root 9 by 2. Okay. Understand? This is what your answer. Now, I would like to next problems. I would like to go to another type of problems. That is, that is, last of exponents. Dear students, you have learned exponent rules in the lower classes. That is from 7th line, 8th, even 9th line, you are going to learn about exponents. Here some rules are there, those rules, I will give you those rules, exponents, rules. Exponents, rules. Firstly, exponents, rules, first law, first law, or first law of exponent, straight back, 8 to the power of m plus a to the power of n which is equal to sorry a to the power of m into a to the power of n which is equal to a to the power of m plus n this is first one second law a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n which is equal to a to the power of m minus n third one a b to the power of m which is equal to a to the power of m into b to the power of m next Fourth one, one by a is equal to a to the power of minus one. A to the power of zero is equal to one. A to the power of one is equal to one. Sorry, a this is this one. Okay, these rules are familiar to you. Why? Because log all log in the seventh standard and eighth standard. Okay. Based on this, today we are going to solve some more problems. Before that, here 64 is there. How can you write 64 in the form of square? Okay, take an exam. 64, 8 square. But see, here we want base as 2. How can you write? The 4 take the same now here. Simplify this one. 2 3 is a 6. 2 2 is a 2 16 is a 32. 2 8 to 16, 2 4 to 8, 2 2 to 2 1 to Okay, up to 1 to 1. Here, see how many rules are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, 64 you can write as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. How many other? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This type you have to do. This one you can write as 64 equal to 2 to the power of 6. How? 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32, 32 to the 64, like that, okay? The students will solve such problems in this class. Okay, first problem. That is exercise number. Second one, 32 to the power of 
1 by 5. Dear students, these are very very easy problems and very interesting problems. See, 32 solution. 32 what is the power of 1 by 5? 32 whole power 1 by 5. We can write 32. Simplify this. 2 16s are, 2 8s are, 2 4s are, 2 2s are, again 2 1s are. How many 2s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, right here, we can write here 32 equal to 2 to the power of 5. Okay, children? Now, 32 to the power of 1 by 5 equal to 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 1 by 5. Understand? Here see 2 to the power of 5 into 1 by 5 by 5 minutes cancel. Then remainder is 2. Okay? Remaining is 2. Next, another problem.
125 for plus 125 rolled to the power of minus 1 by 3. You can write it as solution 125 over to the power of minus 1 by 3. You can write it as 1 by 125 over to the power of 1 by 3. Okay. Here again 125. You can write it as 5. 5 to the 10 again, 5 is a 525 is a 125. Yeah. 5, 5 to 25. Next, 5 is a therefore 125 equal to 5 cube. We have to write in the place of 125, we have to substitute 1 5 cube. Therefore, 5 cube what is the power of 1 by 3 over 1. Okay. Here we have to write like, like this. Which is equal to 1 by 5 cube over to the power of 1 by 3. Okay. This is equal to 1 divided by 5 into 3 to 1 by 3. This will get cancelled. Is equal to 1 by 5 to the power of 1. 1 by 5. 1 by 5. This is your answer. Next mind, that is the last mind of this lesson. Last mind of this lesson that is the same problems but different types. See, first simplify. Simplify the first one. 2 power 2 by 3 into 2 to the power of 1 by 5. See, here we want to use 8 to the power of 1 by 8 to the power of 1 by 5. That is equal to 2 to the power of 1 by 10. Okay, see, here see. Solution. 2, 2 by 3 into 2, 1 by 5. Here we want to use 8 to the base of 1 by 10. Therefore, 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. Okay, here there is the LCM. The LCM of the denominator is 2 to the power of 15. 3 power is 10 plus 5, which is equal to 2 to the power of 15 by 15 is equal to 2. Minus 
11, 1 by 2 by 11, 1 by 4, which is equal to 11, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. Here SM is, SM of 1 4 is 8, 11, 8, here 4, 2 is 4 minus 2, which is equal to 11 to the power of 2 by 8, which is equal to 11 to the power of 1 by 4. Okay, and last by exercise that is last mile that is same for problem and last problem 7 to the power of 1 by 2 into 8 to the power of 1 by 2 ok children see why I gave you in the previous week in the beginning I gave you exponent form this is the form of a to the power of m into b to the power of m which is equal to a into b o to the power of m. In this formula, in this manner, we have to convert this. Okay, see so first here solution 7 to the power of 1 by 2 into a to the power of 1 by 2 which is equal to 7 into a to the power of 1 by 2. Why? Because we have to use the power like the power of a into b 1 power m or a to the power of 1 by into b to the power of m. Here bases are different, powers are same. Then we have to use this formula. 7 is the 56 to the power of 1 by 2. This is your answer. That is children. This is what? First lesson. Exercise 1.6. Dear students, once again, I will remind you about this lesson. Okay, that is first. This is the end of first lesson. Once again, I will recall you that is firstly, in this lesson, we learned natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and rational, irrational numbers. Okay, this is what irrational numbers are. Right. These are all exponents. Okay, and that's all exponents up to this line. See, one by one. First, rational numbers. How to represent the rational numbers? How to represent the rational numbers on number line? How to represent the irrational numbers on number line? How to find the rational numbers and how to find the irrational numbers? Okay, these are line. Along with that, how to represent square root of 3, square root of 5 and number 9, that is also we line. In this uh, mind, uh, how to represent square root of 9.3, I want to tell you, but here, here now I can't. When you will come here, then I will show you, okay? This is what this my illustration. I also that these are very, very interesting and important problems, especially exponents. Exponents, rational and irrational numbers and their properties are very very important for us, important for you. Why? Because whenever you are going to read higher classes, going to higher classes, then we must know about these exponent properties, exponent rules, exponent laws and rational numbers, rational numbers properties, rational numbers rules and addition of rational numbers, multiplication of rational numbers, division of rational numbers, irrational numbers, how to represent the irrational numbers, how to find the rational numbers. These are very very important for you. Why? Why? Because these are the basic concept for the PU and more than of that. That is degree and PG. Okay? That level we must know about the, these basic concepts. By using these basic concepts, we can do any problems regarding this. Okay? In the next year, 10th standard also, the number system is the real number. That is the real numbers. Real numbers also very very interesting. Do you know children pi value equal to 3.1444 of the This is the not terminating not recurring. One scientist, one mathematician, he was started the math, started this value up to when it will end. He started the operation, that is the division operation, up to end of his death. He did not get any answer for that. Okay? So this is the pi value. We will celebrate the pi day. Pi day is there, then we will celebrate the pi day the next month. 
Okay, at least in the upcoming years 2021, in the month of March, we will do that one. Okay, in the next class, we will go to discuss other lesson and a very very interesting lesson that is, I will tell you later. Up to that, hope you all understand this lesson number system. Okay, you have to do and get prepared yourself for knowledge purpose along with that we will conduct a shortly conducting you one small test that is a FA1, FA2 and along with that FA test first okay we will conduct you thank you children thank you very much